What a serendipitous find. It is so mind-blowing. Seawater glowing bright blue. Like a glow stick. And even brighter than that. All this seems to be directly from the realm of fairy tales. And yet, it is very real. Let me tell you the story. How I found Sea Sparkle. Currently, I'm on the hunt for a dinoflagellate feeding on diatoms. Dinos are perhaps one of the most mysterious creatures on planet Earth. In order to hunt them down, I was looking for a place where I could access the open water of a shallow bay without a boat. Eventually I managed to find a place perfect for hunting dinos. There is a tiny island with a Shinto shrine connected to the mainland by a long walkable bridge. The whole place could be straight out of a Ghibli movie. I lowered my net into the water and took extensive samples. As soon as I got home, I opened the box with the samples and saw a subtle blue light flash coming from the bottles. At first I thought, my eyes are having some kind of issue. Maybe I'm tired. But when I put the first drop of water under the microscope, everything made sense. Noctiluca Shintilans. This dinoflagellate had been on my micro bucket list for a while now. Although I didn't get what I was looking for, I was rewarded by finding a mysterious bioluminescent creature. Noctiluca is a mysterious hunter, gobbling up diatoms and other plankton. Although this creature lives predatory, it cannot move actively and uses the creepy looking appendix or proboscis to collect food. The only direction this creature has control of is its depth. It is actively able to adjust buoyancy. The rest of its movement is at the mercy of the sea currents. Now, after finding Noctiluca, I was determined to return to the spirit island at night to see the ocean waves glowing blue. Risking the fury of the gods, I came back to the island at night during high tide and expected to see all of the sea surrounding the tiny rock to sparkle blue. But there was nothing. So I snuck around the island through the darkness to find yet again nothing. When I was about to give up, I noticed a blue wave crest in a dark bay on the far side of the island. Bingo! Noctiluca creates a rather intense flash of blue light when it is mechanically disturbed. This bioluminescent effect is somewhat similar to that of fireflies. But instead of creating a green light, these microbes radiate blue because it travels further underwater. This effect can be so strong that an entire region of ocean water lights up blue at night, known as sea sparkle. But why do these microorganisms create light at all? While fireflies undeniably use light for communication to attract sexual partners, the light caused by Noctiluca is a mystery. There are some theories out there trying to elucidate this mystery. The first theory claims that the light flash might serve to scare off attackers. Then another hypothesis claims that the light might serve as a burglar alarm to summon the predator of the attacker. Another theory is claiming that the light flash might be a mere byproduct of a chemical process eliminating oxygen radicals within the cell and the light itself has no practical application. So maybe the light they cause is just a mere coincidence. But if so, why doesn't it have a random color? Why? Is it blue? There must be some evolutionary pressure on them to have produced the blue light. This wavelength is a clear advantage in underwater environments because it travels furthest. And last but not least, 
there is a theory claiming that the light flashes they cause might be also a pathway of communication within the swarm. I don't know which one is the right explanation, but I'd like to add an observation. Although the water all around the island was full of these microorganisms, the sea sparkle effect happened merely in one place. It almost seems to me as if these creatures somehow are able to avoid the land and the waves in shallow waters. And perhaps the sea sparkle was limited in one area because they were not able to avoid this particular obstacle somehow. Maybe the light they produce is to warn the swarm. Let me know what you think about this phenomenon. Have you also seen it with your own eyes? Thank you so much for watching. So let's dig up some more dirt and let's stay curious. See you the next time. Bye bye.